Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome to another video on my channel here today. I'm going to be going over the patch notes that actually just came out with the release of Teawara on Xbox. Unfortunately, it is not out on PS4 yet, which is quite the bummer for you PS4 players. But don't worry, on the stream yesterday, I did hear the lady say that it should be planned to be released sometime the middle of February. So whenever that is, maybe like February 15th, February 20th, I have no clue. Um, hopefully soon because you guys have already had to wait long enough and hopefully you don't have to wait very much longer because it's just it, it kind of sucks. You know, it really does. I'm quickly going to be going over the patch notes that I find are most important. Not everybody gets to, uh, you know, see these things. Not everybody checks Discord or Twitter and, you know, they might not know what the heck got patched and fixed fixed and improved. We're going to start off with the user interface and multiplayer fixes. They fixed an issue where the trophy lodge wouldn't load when switching between two lodges of the same type. That's I've ran into that issue actually. I have two lodges. I have my normal lodge and I have my Teawara base lodge and sometimes when you're swapping between them it just doesn't load and it's really annoying so you have to restart your whole game. Fixed several rare issues where the trophy lodge would never load for some players. Fixed missing button prompt for entering an ATV. I've seen that one a couple times so that's nice to see fixed. Fix the highlight on animals tracks so they are no longer show and screen screenshots captured with the camera i really like that one because you guys know me i'm always taking pictures in this game uh, for screenshots of thumbnails and all that good stuff so i definitely appreciate that being fixed fix several issues resulting in an animal falling out of sync between players in multiplayer games and hunting towers and blinds no longer remain occupied after players leave a multiplayer game while inside a tower or a blind. I should mention that I already have made a patch note video on the initial release of Teawara, but some of those patch notes were not included with this update. It was kind of a whole separate update. It's really confusing because now they're going to have three releases for one map, which is kind of ridiculous at PC. Then a month or two later, they had Xbox and now in a couple of weeks, they're going to have PS4 and it's just really unorganized and really complicated. But I do have a video going over those patch notes for the initial release of Teawara if you do want to check that video out as well. And one of the improvements is they added darker background to all the UI screens for better readability. It's kind of hard to tell here, but it does look like the um, the backgrounds here are a little bit darker. I feel like these letterings and stuff here are a little bit brighter than normal. It's definitely much easier to see. It's a very slight difference, but if you are used to looking at the screen all the time, which I am, you can definitely tell a little bit of a difference. So not an insane improvement, but you know, it's just one of those little things that also kind of makes a lot of sense. So for weapons, gear and character, they swap the images of 303 ammo in the store. For user interface and multiplayer, they fix the issue where the camera would stay at an angle after exiting ATV while on a slope. I personally never ran into that one. They fixed several issues where the trophy lodge wouldn't load for some players, which they already listed that in the other patch note, which kind of doesn't make sense. I don't know why it says it twice in one patch note thread, but eh, I guess that's called the wild for you. Miscellaneous, they fixed the feral pig's dark brown fur variation showing as a hybrid brown in the harvest screen. Never seen that. They removed the moose from Teowarda's leaderboard and fixed various crash issues and fixes. Um, that's, that's basically it. Those are the most important bug fixes. And we can go here to this really quick and I'll show you the 303. I'm almost 100% certain that these pictures here of the ammo are exactly the same as they used to be. I could be wrong. I never really paid that much attention, but I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same as what they used to be. And even though it says they changed them in the patch notes, the crazy thing is when you read these patch notes, you see a lot of things that are being patched that you've never really noticed in game before. You never see them fixing the usual, you know, like animals freezing and, you know, flipping upside down when you shoot them and stuff. You never see that getting fixed. You always see like random things getting fixed, like the feral pigs fur variations being wrong, which I've never even seen that before. Like, how do they find these little bugs and fix them, but they never really patch the really big and kind of game breaking bugs? I don't know. Does not make any sense. I love this game. It's a load of fun sometimes, but man, the developers are very unorganized and I really, really hope in the next release of a DLC, they definitely take the more professional route and wait until it is ready to release on all platforms and then put it out instead of waiting for three separate releases now. That's ridiculous. I hope they update us more often on when we're gonna be getting it. I don't know, there's a lot of things and um, you know, some people 
agree with me and some people disagree and some people think i'm just another youtuber that likes to bitch about things but i agree with you i definitely am so thanks so much for watching if you found this video useful smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already stay tuned for another hunt here on tailwater going after some more sick deer coming sometime this week and also stay tuned for another diamond and rare montage coming out this week as well love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one later